Hello and welcome to Fen Business. Today we are in conversation with a special guest whose name is Malik Arjun Rao and he's a executive director at Syndicate Bank. So welcome to Fen Business. Thank you. So an interesting area I would like to learn from you today and I would like to hear your perspective because you're talking about it a lot. Each and every bank is adopting digital. Whether onboarding merchants is really easy for banks because perhaps merchants don't want to pay that cost. So who's burning that cost? Uh, more importantly, when the government is looking for creating a society with less cash environment, less mm. cash environment. Right. Now, with respect to onboarding of a merchant, mm. it all depends upon the kind of ecosystem we are looking at. Absolutely. If you had seen uh, the position around 10 to 15 years back, or even in the recent past, mm. the system built for a pass terminal mm. for undertaking a transaction through the merchant establishment mm. is through the dial-up network, mm -hmm. and then landing at a uh, what you call uh, a zone from there through the lease line network it used Absolutely. to travel. Now we have seen uh, uh, really a revolution in uh, telecom network. Mm -hmm. As a result of which today the entire network for POS based transactions is moving through GPRS. Right. Uh, as a result the cost of transaction also has come down. Mm -hmm. the, in the entire system cost also has come down. Mm -hmm. As a result there is an opportunity for penetrating this kind of an environment right. Right. ecosystem across the country. Mm -hmm. With the new technology, what importantly we look at is how effectively we can reduce the cost of operations. Absolutely. Then only it can reach out to the customer at a lower cost. Yes. Today, if we ask the customer to pay something for completion of a transaction, yes. he will not be willing to do that yes. because he is an alternate by exchange of cash. Absolutely. Particularly when the transaction value is less and volume is high. Right. So it is very challenging for the bankers or I would say all the stakeholders who are creating the entire ecosystem. True. More importantly for the banker because ultimately he is the customer of a bank yes. who is willing to transact the account only when the environment is friendly. Otherwise he would not undertake the transaction. True. This is one area. If you have seen the impetus created by the government of India mm. in the last one and a half years, mm. it has been really tremendous. Yes. One is that initially to create the canvas for three months after demonetization four months mm. they've told the entire banking environment not to charge anything yes. so that customers will be induced to go for cashless society less cash society right. later on they have again regulated the charges structure in such a way mm -hmm. that the customers are uh, do not become deterrent in undertaking the transaction yes. now if these two measures have brought different challenges because the ecosystem is already prevalent with certain amount of cost already inbuilt mm. and being incurred by the uh, what do you call stakeholders True. suddenly the cost structure has gone down yes. so bankers and the other stakeholders are looking at an opportunity to create a system where cost of operation is less a, a very well illustration and when we understand that the customer you know should not be charged for whatever the digital transactions that banks and government of India wants to do at, at the same time you know when there is a biometric when there is a POS terminals everything if the bank is going to do it's an additional burden for the bank correct is it really sustainable for banks to spend on this amount? Uh, that's what I said. Yes. Uh, in the current environment, mm -hmm. if we look at uh, the cost benefit analysis at every transaction level, right. our assumption related to how many transactions would be undertaken in each terminal mm -hmm. would be an underestimate at right. this point of time. Because the coverage currently is such that in future there will be a manifold increase. Right. So guessing at this point of time for assuming a transaction level and creating a cost benefit analysis would not be appropriate at this time. Mm -hmm. Whereas once we create the canvas and look at the enormous potential available in our country right. and see at that point of time, definitely we are confident that the model will become highly self-sustainable. Okay. It will generate in itself so that the model will continue without any disruption. So there are large banks when you speak to PSU banks specifically, there are private banks as well who are actually also leading the bandwagon of digital. Correct, correct. But when you look at the small banks, when you look at the mid-level banks, what are the major challenges or the pain points they have when they actually adopt this digital system because somehow or unfortunately they don't have that big infrastructure which the other bank has so they don't have that advantage. Correct. So what is the major point for you specifically or other smaller mid-level banks? See, when you come to the smaller banks, if you look at this kind of an environment creation, there are two dimensions. One is issuer dimension, another is acquirer dimension. Right. When it comes to issuer dimension, it is related to providing a tool to your customer. Right. So that you can undertake a transaction anywhere. Mm -hmm. So in the issuer dimension, cost involved for a bank is not very high, it is right. minimal. Only when you are also entering into acquirer dimension where you want to provide the biometric devices given by the bank, particular bank, mm -hmm. 
to your merchant establishment and creating an environment for completion of a transaction, the cost increases there. Now, it should be a conscious decision by the banker. If the banker is very small, first facilitate their customer. So that customer will be driven towards digitalization and he will be undertaking the transaction. The only difference is he may be undertaking a transaction with a merchant establishment where the machine is provided by a different banker. So in the entire ecosystem, whatever small amount of commission is being exchanged, it will be moving towards the acquired banks. However, the amount being smaller, in order to have an objective of covering their clientele base into digital banking, it is a decision or a preference which the banker has to take yes. a smaller bank. But in the days to come, once they have brought their customers into digital arena, once they are used to that, then they can slowly create the acquired mechanism whereby yes. they can also start earning. That is the only best way because uh, if they think that we cannot spend money now, hmm. then they will be depriving the opportunity to their customer who will be induced by other banks to go there. Right. So they can arrest that if they equip their customer with the digital banking transactions. How challenging it is for you to actually convince the vendors to take them on board until and unless you don't take those vendors on board, you know, specifically in the tier 3, tier 4 cities, I'm talking about the hinterland, you know, perhaps the digital mission of government of India and specifically the transaction level that you want to achieve will not be achieved. So what is that you do at your bank? What is that other banks are doing? See, the main problem what we encounter, I don't say problem, it is a challenge, is the cost which is incurred by the vendor. Absolutely. Now, no vendor will be ready to do the business at loss. So naturally, what is the real cost yes. at which they can earn some marginal profit? Mm. Now, when I say marginal profit, what is they looking at? Are they looking at a long-term relationship with high volume where with marginal profit they can have a sustained relationship with the mm. bank? If that situation can be achieved mm. through whatever means of selection we are undertaking, being a public sector bank, we follow through the RFP process Absolutely. and when we are following through the RFP process properly devising the scope then the selection criteria going for the reverse option if the price discovery is good then vendor is happy to provide the service so all right thank you so much Malik thank Arjun you thank Rao you for talking to us it was thank wonderful you. in talking to you thank so you. that was mr Malik Arjun Rao from syndicate bank he's executive director there and he shared a lot of insights on digital banking thank you so much for watching